So the next rider in the starting house, and this is uh, the French rider, Johan Peo. Well, the French got a gold medal in the junior women's event this morning. So maybe that gives uh, Johan Peo a little bit of a boost. This is Campbell Flakemore. In the past, this title's been won by Luke Durbridge and Jack Bowbridge. Can he now become another Aussie to pull on the rainbow bands? This is the French rider. Well, they expected something of this rider now. And look at this. Peo has gone fastest by 6.87 seconds. Peo of France is absolutely motoring. Two more riders left to start. This was the bronze medalist in 2012. He's the Oceana individual time trial champion, Damien Housen of Australia. Based in Varese for most of the season, Housen now is underway. His teammate is out on the course, Campbell Flakemore. These two riders were first and second in Chrono Champenois. It was Campbell Flakemore who beat Damien Housen then. Here is Campbell Flakemore then. Can he beat the fastest time, which is 10.47.10? It's going to be pretty close, but he is moving really well. And he does by 0.48 of a second. The Aussie is looking good. 10.46.62 for Campbell Flakemore. As we see the arrival of the Swedish rider, Marcus Faglund Carlsen in the blue and yellow there, heading towards the intermediate time split. But behind him is the Frenchman. Look at the time of Johan Peo. This rider is absolutely blitzing it. He rides for La Pont Marseille. He's the under 23 European time trial champion in 2011. And he is absolutely kicking the pedals over. Johan Peo goes fastest by 34.32 seconds. The Frenchman is on the ride of his life. Lassie Hansen now. Off the start ramp, he wears number one. He's the Olympic Omnium champion. I commentated on him in the velodrome last year. He's a very, very good bike rider. Lassie Hansen, underway. Right, this is going to tell us the story. This is Damien Housen. The time to beat is 10 minutes 46.62. Don't uh, get too excited yet. The camera foreshortens the length of time to get to the split but he's looking really really good maybe we should get excited for anyone who's Australian because Damien Housen has smashed the time 10.29 seconds quicker than the previous best so it's a 1-2 at the 9.7 kilometer point between Housen and Flakemore right this is the rider now who could produce a time that everyone else is going to have to go at. This is Johan Peo from La Pont Marseille, the under-23 European champion of 2011. Started earlier on today and set a quick time out on the course in the early sectors, but has accelerated and could be the first rider under 51 minutes. The French rider is absolutely blitzing this time trial, looking very, very fast indeed. This is going to be a momentous time from the Frenchman. Johan Peo of France heading towards the finish line now, and he's going to be somewhere nearly a minute quicker than Craddock. This is a fantastic performance from the Frenchman heading to the line he's going to be the 51st rider to finish and he smashes it 50 47 0, 8. he's the fastest rider by 44 seconds he's the first rider to beat 51 kilometers an hour 51.346 and Johan Peo now is firmly in the hot seat Hansen is going to go very, very close. Can he set the fastest time? 10.36.33 is the time to beat. Look how close this race is. 0.36 of a second between Hansen and Hansen. Flakemore now heading through past the Duomo to a great reception from the crowd. But look at this. Damien Hansen is catching the rider in front of him. And a rider like Victor Campanets, who's a European time trial champion. Damien Housen now goes fastest. 31.0488.
He's 36.29 seconds faster than Johan Peo. And look at this. Lassie Hansen now has slowed up. Damien Housen at the 28 kilometer point is going to be the fastest rider on the route. So Lassie Hansen now heading towards this point. He has lost some speed to Johan Peo as well. It is going to be very, very close. Hansen is second fastest, 31.37.37. Right now, the fastest rider in these World Championships on the Tuscan roads is Damien House of North Australia. Campbell Flakemore right on the limit through the corners. Can he now put himself in with a chance of a medal? He looks to me like he's suffered an awful lot out here on the route, but he's in the finishing straight. The time to beat is 50-47. He's not going to do that. So now it's about second place. 51-31-35 is the time for the silver medal. And it's Lawson Craddock who had that crash, who he's now got to try and beat. Johan Peo will remain the leader of this World Championship under 23 time trial. Campbell Flakemore heading towards the finish line. The time is going to be faster than Craddock. He's going to go second, 51-12-27. So it's first for France at the moment, second for Australia, and third for the United States. Lassie Hansen, he'll be better in the technical section. He's a little bit uh, smaller in terms of his... Uh, stature on the road so he can whoosh through the corners he goes right on the barrier line through that left-hander he's gonna turn left now he's into the final 500 meters Damien Housen sprinting all the way to the line the time to beat 50 minutes 47 08 and this Australian rider through gritted teeth is really moving now. This has been a ride of pure power. Damien Housen now is inside the final couple of hundred meters. 150 meters to go now for Housen. He looks like he's going to be the only rider under 50 minutes. 50 minutes 47.08, the time to beat. And Housen has uh, put that completely out of sight. 49 minutes 49.97 he thrashes the time of Peo by 57 seconds he's the only rider over 52 kilometers an hour 52.326 kilometers an hour and Housen now has one rider left to finish and then we'll find out whether he is the world champion Housen leads, Peo in second for France. Flakemore is in the bronze medal position. Can he hold on to it? The fourth place is Lawson Craddock, the man who crashed from the United States. Stefan Kung is fifth, and Ryan Mullen of Ireland is in sixth place. Lassie Hansen, his head is all over the place. The tongue is out. He's pedalling a massive gear. He's outside the time of Damien Housen. The world title goes to Australia. Lassie Hansen now is just trying to hold on to a medal. Is he going to do it? He can't finish fourth again, surely. So now he's got to try and beat the time of Johan Peo. The world title goes to Australia. It remains to be seen whether they're going to get gold and bronze. Lassie Hansen now sprinting towards the line. He hasn't got far to go. 50 minutes 47.08 is the time to beat for the silver medal. Johan Peo is in that now. It's a long, long finishing straight. It's long and straight and you uh, can really tie up now. Lassie Hansen is desperately trying to hold on for some sort of medal here. He's going to be inside the time of Flakemore by the looks of things. So it's not going to be gold and bronze. It's going to be bronze medal by the looks of things to Lassie Hansen of Denmark. His head is swinging left and right, but he does do it. 51-0-0.10. So it is gold for Australia, silver for France, and it's bronze for Denmark. Flakemore just in fourth place. Disappointment for the other Australian, but the showdown between those two Aussies produced a pro an absolutely spectacular result. Housen wins the world title for the under 23s for Australia. Peo is second for France and Hansen is in third place.